Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. This week's Scrap Diva Designs video is a little tutorial using this die here, which is the 3D Mini Vials Gift Set Box. I think it's so, so cute and I had so much fun with this. It was really so much easier and quicker to put together than I was anticipating, so that was always, it's always a really nice surprise when you get that. Um, so I've already made one, here's how this one looks. And um, so you just open it up at the side and then it's got the little insert to put your little vials in. Um, and I had these ones which fit in perfectly if I don't have the little cork tops on them. So they'll just be open but the like the opening reaches the very top of the box so the content shouldn't spill out is what I'm, what I'm hoping in the post. Um, so here's how the box looks without the insert because you could also use it as a gift box which is what I'm going to do with the one which I'm making today. I'm not going to include the insert. I'm going to pop something else in. So I'll just close the back up. I do find that the, um, the little closure always pops open. So I think you need to put something on your closure part to keep it closed. And um, I've just been using a glue dot, which is just like a quick fix. But I was wondering if Velcro might work well. So for the one that I'm making today, I'm going to pop these little flowers in, which I've been making today as well, which I've had so much fun with. I love how these turned out. And I'm just going to pop all of these in the gift box and use it as a little gift box to gift my flowers. So you can, you've got the option of putting the little bottles in or you can pop anything you like inside. So these are my pieces all die cut ready. I'm using Maggie Holmes Sweet Story Collection to create this one I just thought this free paper was so fun and nice for summer nice for the nice and fitting for our month of August wait I'm ahead of myself we're still in July we're nearly in August so near enough eh time just blends all into one when you're so so busy so here I am I'm just sticking all of the decorative layers on there um, it just means I've got less pieces to need to work with and I've got them all glued on ready. It's really great with this die set that you get both the base layers and the um, decorative layers as well. That's always really nice. And then in this little window here, I'm popping some acetate in here. Just to keep my flowers all nice safely in the box. I'm not sure which dye I've used for this flower, um, the little flowers, because I didn't have a label on. I've repackaged it into a reusable packaging. Um, but if I do find out the name, I've been having a look. If I find it, I'll leave the link in the description box. And I'll also leave the link to this mini vials dye also. So for these pieces here, which all have score lines on, I'm just going to take them away and just re-score them um, just so the score lines are really deep because I've used some basil extra thick card for these. Um, so I just want to make sure the score lines are as deep as possible so the paper doesn't crease up. You only need to do this step if you use an extra thick card or you've like double layered your card. So then next I'm just going to stick some double sided tape on the side panels. So on one of the side panels you want to just put one piece on so you can still open it. One piece of double sided tape. And then on your other one you need to fully stick this one down if you don't want both sides to open. Just remember not to stick all of the panels down otherwise it won't open. So I just take my time time and line these all up so they fit together well and they don't like overlap or anything. And I'll just use my um, little scoring tool just to reinforce it and make sure it's stuck down properly. Okay. 
and then once I've got it all sort of like lined up and I'm happy with it stick some tape on the long pieces and I'm going to get ready to stick it onto like the back panel piece now as well did keep all unfolding it was a little bit fiddly this was like the fiddliest part for me I just wanted to make sure it was fully lining up and I wasn't overlapping anything. I think everything was stuck on straight. Um, so I did replay really around for this um, a little bit of time. But I could move it around because I used a double sided tape. And then this is just a little panel to go in the back to hide your glue tabs. And I just used the same paint so it looks like a continuous pattern. And here's the box all completed. Now it's time to work on this little insert and halfway through doing this I thought I don't actually need this piece because I'm just putting flowers inside um, but it was still nice to do it so I could include like the full tutorial of how to put this together if you want to include that piece in yours. So on this piece um, you only actually need to cut one if you want but I've cut two and then put this paper over the holes on one of them just so it makes like a full box rather than it being just like an open piece because this makes it so much more sturdier and it just, I just think it keeps it nicer in the box it's not going to be all falling around because it's heavier it keeps it in place so you don't have to do this it's just preference I just stick that all together and then I've got my full box there and it just slides inside. I love how this looks and how it's all turned out. And um, it just slide around until you've got your things inside. But once you've got your contents inside, then it obviously keeps it weighed down and keeps it all in shape very nicely. So I'll just take this piece out because I don't actually need it. I can keep this one for my next one that I make because I'm sure I'll be making another one of these because I love it. And then I can now pop my little flowers in. Um, I made nine because that was the perfect amount to like fill it all the way to the top. It was a little bit tricky trying to get them to all like face the right way. They all kept going in upside down, of course. <laughs> I definitely should have sped this bit of the video up for some reason it was all sped up and then at this part I've put it back to normal speed <laughs> that was a mistake but anyway you can watch me uh, fiddle around try and get them all in here we go I just love how this looks once it's all closed up with the flowers I think it looks so so cute and it's a really pretty way to package up some flowers so I'll just add my glue dot on the end there so it so keeps claws and like I say this is just a bit of a temporary fix really because the glue dot isn't going to last for that many times of opening it and um, I might try some velcro and see how that works Here we go i think this is just so so cute i'm actually in love with this <laughs> i think it'll be so nice that it's a reusable packaging as well my recipient can use it um for something else to store something else or to gift to someone else once they've um emptied it and used the contents inside So if you're looking for a quick but beautiful packaging idea, I definitely would recommend the Mini Vials gifts die set. And I'm going to leave the link to the die and also have a 10% off discount code as well. So I'll pop them both in the description box. I hope that you've enjoyed watching this video and I'll be back next week with another Scrap Diva Designs project video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.